Coach Brian Klopacki here, criticalbench.com. Depression and anxiety, guys. Uh, pretty common throughout a lot of people. Unfortunately, it, uh, it's, it's around us all the time. But if you're not familiar with depression, you're in luck because I'm about to share with you everything you need to know about how to overcome depression and also anxiety. So what is depression? Depression, or a major depressive disorder or clinical depression as doctors would put it, is a common but serious mood disorder. It causes several uh, symptoms that could affect how you feel, think, handle daily activities such as sleeping, eating, etc. So to be diagnosed with depression, symptoms must be present for at least two weeks and it must be diagnosed from a doctor. So many people with depression also experience some, some degree of anxiety. Anxiety goes beyond typical tension we experience from day-to-day -day challenges. Um, so people with anxiety disorder, it's a constant overwhelming fear or a state of worry that's uh, it's filled with obsessive thoughts, feelings of panic, difficulty sleeping, heart palpitations, and, and just very common everyday situations. So these two disorders are, are different, but people with depression often experience anxiety, and usually those with anxiety disorder also um, usually have depression disorder as well. So if you've been experiencing some of the symptoms I'm about to uh, tell you, every day, nearly all day, for at least two weeks, you may be suffering from depression, you definitely gotta go see a doctor. So things like persistent sadness, anxiousness or just an empty feeling, feelings of hopelessness or pessimism, always talking negative about yourself or other people, irritability, just being cranky all the time, no matter who you're with or what you're doing, feelings of guilt, worthlessness, helplessness, loss of interest or pleasure in hobbies, activities, um, Decreased energy, decreased fatigue, or increased fatigue, moving or talking slow, you're that lazy feeling, restless, have a trouble sitting still, staying focused, difficulty concentrating, remembering things, changes in appetite, changes in uh, your weight, thoughts of death or suicide, aches, pains, cramps, headaches. Guys, there's a lot of symptoms, but the main thing is, is if you have them consistently over the course of two weeks, you gotta go get some help. So not everyone who has these symptoms has depression. Some might only experience a few symptoms, while some might experience all of them. Several persistent symptoms in addition to low mood are required for, for a diagnosis of major depression. But people with only a few might not be uh, clinically diagnosed as having major depression. Again, go talk to your doctor, they'll give you some more clear uh, answers on, on if, if you think you're suffering from this. So how do you overcome depression and anxiety? A lot of people want to know that, and the, the truth of the matter is, even in the most severe cases, it can be treated. The earlier that you get treatment, the more effective it is. Depression is usually treated with medication, psychotherapy, intervention, sometimes even natural homeopathic methods. So yeah, I, I said that magic word, medication. I, I hate that word because we're in, we're in a society that just loves to push med medicine and load people up with this pill or this drug or whatever. So. How do you overcome depression without med medication? The answer is simple, guys. Three things you gotta do to overcome depression without the use of any medication whatsoever. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna fix depression or cure it, but I guarantee that if you incorporate these three things over the course of, uh, a, you know, not short term, but not long term either, the results of these three things will decrease depression and improve quality of life. The three things you need to know exercise, healthy diet, and sleep. Do these three things and you're definitely gonna improve your quality of life. So physical exercise, duh, is the, one of the most important things you can do ever. It's good for elevating your mood, increases circulation to your brain. It also delivers your brain with all the nutrients needed to clear out toxins and all that metabolic crap that's just sitting in, the, in your brain right there. Exercise also builds a healthier brain by increasing the levels of brain chemicals that promote new brain cell formation and also helps bridge neural, neural connections. The cool thing with the exercise, it actually recognizes the brain that it's, it's stress and helps lower the stress. So regular exercise can be found to work better than depression or depressant drugs. Imagine that. So drugs that are used for depression, it's got nothing on exercise. Also, you wanna look at exercising outdoors, which is actually considerably better and more beneficial than exercising indoors. So exercising outdoors increases vitality, enthusiasm, pleasure, self-esteem. It also helps reset your uh, circadian rhythm to help you sleep. 
Under the right circumstances, it can help replenish your value, the valuable stores of vitamin D get some good sunlight on your skin. Vitamin D is known to lift your mood and also help prevent winter blues for all those people that are that get stuck inside during the snowy seasons. So amazingly, exercise you can do today will benefit you and protect you um, from depression from up to five years from now. Second one is a healthy diet, guys. Now a healthy diet will not fix, and it hasn't been proved to relieve depression, but it is a piece of the puzzle that will help ease depression. So a healthy diet may just, it's a, it's a part of the overall plan or overall treatment for depression. Make sure your diet is loaded with nutrients that are, or foods that are loaded with nutrients to help support the body's uh, natural repair system, uh, growth development, and also just vitality and wellness. So nutrients that you need to include are vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, and also good unsaturated fats. So a deficiency in any of these will, will make the body not work at its full capacity and will lead to some sort of illness one way or another. You wanna make sure your foods are rich in protein. Fish, poultry are awesome sources of protein. The reason why protein uh, is so important for helping with depression is that it's, it's got this thing called tryptophan. It's an amino acid and it may help increase production of the brain chemical serotonin, which is thought to play a role in mood regulation. So try to include a protein source several times a day in every meal, especially when you need, you need to clear your mind or boost your energy. The last one is sleep. You gotta get sleep. This is the third component. So depression we know can make it somewhat difficult to get a good night's sleep, or it might even force you to sleep too much. So what can you do? Start making a lifestyle change to get the same amount of sleep every night. Go to bed at the same time every night. Wake up at the same time every day. Don't nap. Napping is dangerous for those who are depressed because you'll constantly feel in a state of just being tired. Now when you go to sleep, make sure you take all the distractions out of your bedroom. Don't sleep with your phone by your, by your bed. Don't sleep with the TV on. Get rid of all the distractions and you'll find that your sleep will improve. So moving on to some motivational techniques that you can use to help overcome depression. We know exercise is great, nutrition is great, and also sleeping is great. Do these three things in addition to what I'm about to share with you, and you'll be on your way to easing or hopefully curing your depression. These six tips, not in any order, but definitely this one, you gotta ask for help. This is the first one, ask for help. Some of us have a hard time asking for help, even when we are at the best of times. So just imagine if uh, you don't have any motivation or energy, you don't wanna do anything. So find somebody you trust, ask for their help. Ask your friend to hold you accountable to your commitment. Ask somebody to uh, take you to a, a spin class or go to the gym with you and work out. Ask somebody to go to lunch with you and to uh, go, go get something healthy. Even pay for, pay for a friend. Go see a counselor. Setting an appointment that you pay for will hold you more accountable than you really think. Number two, you gotta set the bar low. Set small and specific goals, guys, seriously. It could be simple enough as just going outside and getting the newspaper. So once the task is completed, you might be saying, all right, that was easy, I can do something a little more challenging. Go to the store and get the newspaper. There you go, so do something like that. Raise the bar gradually when you're feeling a little more motivated. Third one, you wanna make sure you set goals to do and not to enjoy them. So set a goal um, just, to, just to do something, just to do it. it. Doesn't have to be fun, but guys, Setting goals and doing goals is huge. Just because when you're depressed, it's natural to lose interest in things that used to make you happy. So if you think you're gonna go fishing because it made you happy before, but if you're depressed, there might be a good, a, a good chance that you're not gonna find joy in that. Comedy is no longer fun, sports are no longer fun. Even spending time with your, your best friend might not be fun. So when you're doing something fun or active, do it with the goal to do it, not to enjoy it. Fourth topic, or the fourth tip is to find inspiration. Inspiration for me comes from others when I see them achieving something that I want to achieve or that are have achieved something that I want to have achieved. I read books, magazines on inspirational quotes, inspirational people, just looking up to other people that have done it. So another trick you can do is go on the internet, type in a goal and, and read success stories. So say fat loss success stories. Type that in, read some stories, you'll definitely find some motivation in that. Fifth, is you wanna commit publicly. None of us wanna look bad in front of somebody else. So we might go that extra mile um, doing something if we set it publicly. 
That doesn't mean you got to go take a TV commercial out and, and, and say, hey, I'm going to run a 5K in three weeks. That's not what I'm talking about. But what you can do is go to your friends and family, even coworkers, and tell them, say, hey, look, I'm going to be running a 5K in three weeks. Then they're gonna hold you accountable. Now you have to hold yourself accountable when you have to report to them, giving updates on your training, uh, the clothes, you know, just everything that goes along with doing a 5K. Last but definitely not least is you wanna make sure you squash and get rid of all negative thoughts that's going on up here. Replace them with positive ones, guys. So along those lines, you wanna start monitoring your thoughts. Good thoughts, bad thoughts. Recognize self-talk. If you start talking down to yourself all afternoon, uh, but you're pretty good in the morning, why is that? You'll, you'll really start figuring out what's causing your slump. So spend a few days becoming more aware of, um, of the times that you're doing negative self-talk. Then after a few days, you'll, you'll pick up the pattern and you'll say, hey, lately I've been being negative in the afternoons. Why is that? And I'm going to expect it tomorrow, so why don't I try to do something different, like positive self-talk. Instead of saying, this is too hard or I'm too tired, replace it with something like, I can do this. It's easy. Stuff like that. So it might sound corny, but guys, it really works. Talk good about yourself when you think you want to talk negative. Just, just do it, guys. So music can't cure depression, even though we wish it could. It's scientifically proven to reduce stress and even depressive symptoms. That's a good thumbs up right here. We all have songs that we listen to that lift our spirits and make us feel a little more energetic and positive. Doing this will give us the opportunity to cope with depression and just feel a little more energetic and lively. So once you find these songs, guys, be sure to access and listen to them daily. You don't have to listen to them only when you're feeling negative. Listen to them when you're feeling in a good mood just to keep those positive thoughts pumping through your, your body. So here are 10 songs that I like and many people all also find inspirational. Um, first one being Eye of the Tiger. Duh. It's uh, one of my favorite movies. Eye of the Tiger, listen to it. Second one being Happy by Pharrell. Catchy song, my kids love it. Um, just a good song that makes you feel happy. Duh. So the third one, Ride the Lightning by Metallica. Who doesn't love some Metallica just to get, get you pumped up? Four, Demons by Imagine Dragons. Deep meaning to a, that song, great lyrics, good beat, good song, just love it. Fifth one being Oceans by Hillsong United. Awesome song, very powerful words. Listen to it closely, you're not gonna drown. In that ocean, someone's gonna be there to pull you, pull you through on that one. Tom Petty's number six. Who doesn't love Tom Petty? Won't back down. Get that one. You'll be happy you did. Float On is number seven by Modest Mouse. Good song. Ch check it out. Number eight, definitely can't have a playlist without Journey. Don't Stop Believing. Number nine, We Are, we are Young by Fun. Catchy beat. Catchy lyrics, too. Um, I like that one. And last but not least, definitely not least, is Wake Me Up by Avicii. Good, upbeat song. You can't beat that one. So guys, if you get those 10 songs, make a playlist. Say, Positive Playlist by Coach Brian. Listen to those songs, you'll definitely be pumped up, guys. So guys, that's everything I got that uh, for you about de uh, depression and how to overcome it. Main thing is, is at the end of the day, if you suffer from any of these signs from depression, go see a doctor. I'm not a doctor, I can't diagnose you. Your brother might not be able to diagnose you. Um, guys, go see a doctor if you, if you really are suffering from depression because it's common, but it's definitely uh, a serious illness, guys. So there's more information I'd love to share with you. It's in this report right here. It's by Mike Gillette. It's the five ways to become tough as nails. Click the link, give us your email, we'll send you a copy of this free report right away. It's awesome stuff, guys. Again, don't miss out on it. Click the link, get it. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click the link, but what you can do is click the little arrow into this video here. That's gonna open up our video description area. That top link you see there, criticalbench.com slash tough. It's the link you gotta click to get this great report. Guys, subscribe to our channel. We've got a whole bunch of other videos that you're definitely gonna find helpful and hopefully inspirational. So, uh, like us, share us, also leave some feedback or even some questions below in the comments section. Love to hear what you guys have to say about this topic or anything in general. And guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Have a good day.